Stage two of the USA Pro Cycling Challenge between Gunnarsson and Aspen and overnight leader Levi Leipheimer signing in for a mammoth day in the Rockies of 130 miles. And the uh, Tour de France champion from Australia, Cadell Evans, enjoying uh, VIP status as two. Andy Schleck looking, to a, looking forward to a very big day in the mountains. Cheers there too for Christian van der Velde. He's up in the overall high fly and uh, this is the start line. 129 riders still surviving at the 130 which started three days ago in Colorado Springs. A short rollout away from Gunnison, and then it was onto the slopes of the Rocky Mountains once again. Well, Andy Schleck and all the riders realizing this was going to be an iconic day, but after about 40 kilometers, a very dramatic crash, and taking down uh, one or two riders, including Ivan Basso. There's Basso on the far side of our picture there, slightly obscured. He seems to have hurt his wrist in this crash. If he got back on his bike, he rejoined. One of the most seriously injured riders, though, was Daniela Kalagarin. Uh, he had facial injuries and broke both of his hands in the crash and was airlifted out to Denver. This was a major crash uh, involving a lot of riders, and not all of them got back up and onto their bikes. And this all happened before the climb of the Cottonwood Pass even began, which would take the riders up to over 12,000 feet. But while the crash was happening, a breakaway was establishing itself as they got onto the lower slopes and the unpaved road of the Cotton Road, Cottonwood Pass. Seven riders are going clear. The best placed at Danny Pate, the Colorado Springs resident who rides for HTC Columbia. An iconic stage for all of these riders because as they get towards the top of the climb, they started to ride on unpaved roads. One man did an, an impressive job to ride across a four minute gap to get himself into the breakaway and then get himself the maximum points in the King of the Mountains. Yes, that was Alejandro Ramirez as he headed up towards the top. The climb was won though by Walter Pedranza. The main field were wallowing some three minutes and 50 seconds back at this point, and then the long descent, and then it was onto the slopes of the Independence Path. Another visit up to over 12,000 feet, and an attack now by Rafael Infantino. One of the Colombian riders, a very strong team, and once they saw this move, the man in blue, the blue jersey, uh, TJ Van Garden, at 23 years of age, decided this was an opportunity to try and get himself the overall lead. TJ Van Garden started the day just 17 seconds behind Levi Leipheimer. This was a big move by him. Wasn't good enough to pick up on Infantino, though. And the second mount of the day won by another Colombian rider here. Now with the long descent down to the finish in Aspen. But TJ Van Garden insisted on his pace and he was joined by the yellow jersey of Levi Leipheimer and behind him Christian van der Velde. The top three riders overall were on the attack. But uh, the Colombian rider Infantino only had about 20 seconds over the top of the climb and very quickly the three chasers caught him to form a leading group of four riders. But they were all swept up by a chasing group. They split again and this time no yellow jersey left in of Levi Leipheimer. TJ Van Garden had the most to gain. He wanted to win here because his fiance Jessica the Phillips is born here, but Big George Hickamu hasn't won a race since August 2009. Came clear of the field to snatch the stage, while second place of Van Gordon was would be good enough to give him the overall leader's yellow jersey. Yes, that was the important thing. Uh, George Hincapie also with that victory today moved himself up into second place in the overall standings, but Levi Leipheimer and Cadell Evans and the rest lost a big 45 seconds. Well, Cadell Evans uh, doing a nice sprint to, to come over there. Best of the rest with Levi Leipheimer right behind him. The man missing from this group was Andy Schleck, a runner up in the Tour de France. He lost a lot of time today. This rider, though, took his chance well, and George Hincapi got his win. His last win was the national championship of the USA in August 2009. Good enough, as Paul says, to bring him up to second place overall here. 16 seconds back of TJ Van Garderen. Tom Danielson in third place, and look at that, all five American riders. Levi Leipheimer down from one to four. Christian van der Velde also slipped a little bit. Uh, Cadell Evans still very much in this, less than a minute behind the leader. Uh, Robert Gessing, another pre-race favorite from Holland, he's at 104. Rory Sutherland completing the top ten. Let's go down to the podium. Yes, uh, getting his uh, new yellow jersey. He'll have to defend that tomorrow in the individual time trial, a mountain time trial around the outskirts of Vail. TJ Van Garden was absolutely delighted with his result today. It's something he really wanted. He doesn't get animated very often, but he certainly was animated after the finish today. A yellow jersey for him and a time trial around Vail tomorrow. And he rides a time trial pretty well, so he feels he's got himself a nice little lead.